Social distancing and sheltering at home is impacting our connected TV viewing. I look at new data, which shows three ways in which it is changing, including the surprising conclusion that we are watching less at prime time. Let's get started. This is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is April 2nd, 2020. Data is starting to arrive in quantity now on the changes being brought to our viewing by COVID-19 emergency and us staying at home much more. Uh, and what I'm going to do today is review three big new data reports that came out and give you the, what I think is the key data from each of those. Uh, now, the first point I want to make is we're watching a lot more. Now, you know that you've been looking at the data. And if you've been visiting my site, well, you certainly know that as well. I interviewed a Pluto TV executive uh, earlier this week, and he told me a 100 percent increase in news channel viewing on his site. I also talked to Curiosity Stream last week, and they told me that they were seeing a 70 percent increase in consumption of their factual content due uh, due primarily to us all staying at home. Well, Nielsen weighed, weighed in on that data this week. And what they said was that the minutes delivered to CTVs increased 85% in the first three weeks of March. That's 85% increase. And uh, that's over 2019. Now, I should say that that is not all due to us staying at home more because of the crisis. I went back and I actually looked at numbers from Q3 2018 and Q3 2019. And what I found was an increase in connected TV viewing of about 31% between that period. So, uh, of course, that's a lot less than the 85%, but that does indicate that, that it's not all 85% of that is due to the virus, virus changes in our viewing habits. Uh, what it's what it's probably is, is about 50%, 50 something in that region. And in fact, Nielsen itself said that it saw a 22% increase in viewing between the second and third week of March. And of course, that's when California went in lockdown and New York and and that's when really the big changes happened in our ability to go out and, and socialize. So the other thing that Nielsen said, well, they said that new, uh, net, Netflix is really dominating the viewing there, really dominating in a big way. 29% of the viewing minutes are going to Netflix, 20% to YouTube, 10% to Hulu and 9% to Amazon. But listen to this, the of the top 10 viewed shows by minutes delivered, according to Nielsen, nine of them were Netflix. And in fact, you have to wait to about the eighth place to see anybody else. I think it was an Amazon show in eighth place. So uh, Netflix really being used a lot by people who are shut up in home. So uh, secondly, uh, we are watching Earlier, this was a very surprising conclusion from new, new data released by Conviva this week. What the company did was it basically looked at the first week to third week uh, of March and compared the two. And what it saw was that our viewing seems to be shifting earlier. So what it said was global prime time viewing hours, viewing streamed hours, went down about 2% between 8 and 11 p.m. with a 4% decrease in the 10 o'clock in the 10 o'clock hour between 10 and 11. Now what it saw also was a big increase between 5 and 7 p.m. in the viewing. That was up 20% with a big 31% increase in the 5 o'clock hour. Uh, daytime viewing was up, of course, as well, up 39%. Big increase in daytime viewing because we're sticking that TV on in the background while we're working, I guess. And even early morning, 6 to 9 a.m., that was up 26% as well. So big shifts in the, the way we're viewing, the way we're streaming uh, during the day. And that's very surprising that we see that decrease in primetime viewing hours. And finally... Our device of choice, well, it's probably a Roku 
or an Amazon Fire TV. According to Freewheel's recent uh, video monetization report, that's for Q4 2019, it found that in the US, Roku really dominates. Uh, streaming to sticks, boxes, and Roku-powered smart TVs absorbed about 43% of connected TV ads that were seen. 43%, that's much, much higher than Amazon Fire TV, which is the second place, 24%. Uh, behind that, well, smart TVs at 12% and game consoles at 9%. In Europe, the picture's a little bit different. Fire TV is in the lead there. Fire TV absorbed about 24%. Roku, 16% of ad views. Smart TVs, 18%. And game consoles, 10%. Uh, oh, and Apple TV and Chromecast, well, they are far back in the noise. They're much, much lower than the other screens. Now, the Freewheel VMR is for Q4 2019, uh, so it's not for this first quarter. What can you expect in the first quarter for the VMR when it's released? Well, you will see a big increase, I think, in ad views at Connected TV. Uh, that's definitely where most of the viewing is going on for Pluto TV, for Curiosity Stream, and for Sling TV, all of which saw big increases in viewing. Uh, so I think we're gonna see a big increase in the uh, amount of ads delivered to Connected TV in the first quarter. Uh, however, I don't think we'll see much of a change in the share of who those ads are delivered to. So I think it'll still be Roku and Amazon Fire TV in the US and uh, Amazon Fire TV, Roku and Smart TV in Europe. So if you want to read more about what Pluto TV said about how COVID-19 is impacting its viewing behavior. Well, there's a, an interview on my site that you can read uh, this week. And also there was an interview last week I did uh, with Curiosity Stream. And this week also I talked to a group president of Sling TV about their free viewing. So come to, come to my site, you can read those and you can also sign up for our newsletter while you're there. We'll see you again next time.